Welcome and thank you for watching our program, Toronto TV, Feng Shui 101. I'm your host, Maggie Ng, and let's welcome our wonderful guest, Feng Shui Master Paul Ng. Good to see you again, Maggie. Hey, Master Paul Ng, are there any connection between Feng Shui and horoscope? I would say they're similar, but they are completely different. Horoscope is based on the galaxies in this universe. So because the shapes of the galaxy will form uh, some different forms. So you got things like Taurus, uh, Capricorn and something. Okay, so it's a very general concept. It's fairly good in predicting per person's personalities or some global stuff. But down to the actual settings in the human life, I think it's a bit deficient. Because in the Chinese philosophy, there are two kinds. Feng Shui is for the material, for the house, for the business, for the city, etc. But there's the other side called the light charting or light reading, which goes into much deeper details. It depicts a person's entire life from beginning to the end, stage by stage including the interrelations, including the health, etc. So it's far deeper. Thank you for watching Toronto TV Feng Shui 101. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much, Maggie and all my friends. Mm -hmm.